Hey folks, it's another day and time for another unboxing. Today I have Microsoft's Surface Pro X. Now, if you've heard anything about this, it might have been super positive because some of the reviews have been a little down on the fact that there is not a lot of apps natively available for compiled for this chip. This is running an ARM chip from Qualcomm well, it's technically called the SQ1 from Microsoft, but it's basically a Snapdragon 8CX that's been custom modified for Microsoft by Qualcomm. So it's an ARM-based Windows 10 2-in-1 tablet setup. It has Windows 10. You can run any apps. Of course, they're emulated. You have to run apps compiled for ARM if you really want to maximize the experience. There's a Chrome build, there's a Firefox build that has 64-bit ARM available. So it's not as bad as people think. Uh, the biggest issue right now is that Adobe's apps are still not available compiled for ARM at 64-bit. So you now have to run these emulated and then it slows down. So it still runs them though. It's, this is not like the original Surface that was basically a full ARM device that ran Windows RT. This is Windows 10 full on. So this is pretty exciting. Let's have a look, shall we? So this is the box. You've got Microsoft Surface uh, on the edge here. Uh, nothing on top, nothing on the side. In the back here, there's tells you this is an eight gigabyte of RAM and 120 gigabytes of storage with, as I said, the Microsoft SQ1 processor, which is a Snapdragon 8CX that's been modified. So it's actually my first device running something similar to the Snapdragon 8CX. You know, I'm not a huge fan of two-in-ones because I don't like the floppy keyboard, but at the same time, this is a pretty thin and sexy device. It says, includes Microsoft Surface Pro with Windows 10 Home, power supply, LT Advanced, so it's supposed LTV advanced, so there's a SIM slot in here. So that's exciting. I didn't know this had LTE built in. I mean, it makes sense since it's powered by an ARM chip from uh, Qualcomm, and they are very radio savvy. So here we go. Dun -da -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -da dun 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 dun. It takes a little while to open this. Boop. Here is the inside of the box. Ooh, I like the gray border. That's very nice. And just before you wonder, I do have the keyboard to unbox, so we'll do that as well. Here is the device. It is super thin. Now we're talking like six millimeters or something ridiculous like that. I'm not exactly sure, but 0 0.28 inches, whatever that translates into. And then uh, let's put that aside here. Then we got a couple of boxes here. The first box has some documentation in it, it looks like. Microsoft Super Pro X. So we've got, ooh, a SIM removal tool. It shows you how to remove it, it's here at the bottom. There's a little pop-up thing. Then we have Microsoft Surface Pro X. Shows you all the controls and getting started and explains to you how to open that again. And then let's see what else we got. Battery health, anyway, safety and security is all built in. Nothing else in here. Here I expect us to find the charger. Let's have a look at what they've got in here. This looks like they're using the actual Microsoft charger, the one that has the magnetic connector on it, unlike USB Type-C charging, which is interesting because this does support charging over USB Type-C if you have a universal PD charger, power delivery, like something like a 60 watt charger, nothing else in this box. And of course the Microsoft charger and the core. Now these are pretty standardized if you've ever seen a Surface device comes with a brick, it's pretty large, but it does have a USB-A port for charging another device. It does have that magnetic connector and it does have a standard US plug, right? So that's it for the box. I don't think there's anything else in here. Let's see, maybe there's a pen under here, I don't know. I guess not, no pen included. I guess you have to buy the pen separately. All right, let's have a look at the, at the tablet, shall we? Here we are. So. There it is. Uh, actually, let's put it upside down. You've got a bunch of controls that are clearly labeled. USB-C, USB-C volume up and down. Microphone, face ID, camera, another microphone. We've got power lock, and this is the charging port, the custom one. So in the back, is there anything? Nope, just some uh, inscriptions. So let's see if we can get this out. Oh, sexy beast. Look at that, there it is, nice. So let's see if I can fire it up real quick. 
So you can see that display. Now this is an IPS panel. It's a 13 inch display. It's a 2880 by 1920 pixels. Pretty nice. As I said, this has eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. There's also a version with 16 gigs of RAM and versions with 256 and 512 gigs of storage. And, you know, it's rated at a 13 hour battery life for something this thin. It's pretty impressive. Uh, so let me walk you through here. As you can see, this is the display. Like, there you go. It's going to do its Windows boot thing. So, of course, it's a Surface device. So it does have a kickstand that extends like right here. Any angle. So you can put it up in any way you want. Here we go. Let's put it up as inclined as possible. Ta-da. So this gives you an idea of the angle. Now here you can kind of get a good look at the camera systems at the top here. Let's uh, put my finger here or there. So you can see there's a microphone and a couple of looks like face ID type cameras. And then there's a, a front facing camera, another sort of camera port, and then another microphone. And I'm not going to go through the setup right now, but I want to walk you through the edges real quick. So let me actually hit the power button to uh, dismiss this. So on the left hand side, you get that volume rocker, right? Two USB-C ports. I'm pretty sure both can be used for charging. If not, one of them is. Then there's a the stand. Then here you've got the rest of the stand. And then on that special magnetic connector for the power and the power on button. And on top, you get nothing. In the back, you have a camera up there. You can see it's right there. And then the, the Microsoft uh, Windows logo. And then, so let's let's uh, pull this up a little bit so you can see that, that port that they mentioned where the SIM card goes. So as you can see, this, uh, this folds quite a bit, this stand. There it is, there's that door. You can see there's a little push pin thing to open it. So I don't wanna do this right now, but you get the idea. The other thing that's interesting is that there's a couple of things here. This is empty, but there's a seems to be clearly a connector in there. So I think this is for the keyboard. So that actually segues us nicely to the keyboard, which I'm about to unbox for you. So here we go. This is the keyboard. Ta-da! There you go. I'm going to flip this over now that I've managed to open this. And here you go. That's the keyboard, as it says. Keyboard Clavier Surface Pro X very clearly indicated. And here we have ah, a little thing that protects it. Then we have the actual keyboard right here. So it is very nice actually. It feels, it's a little thick, thicker than I remember for a Surface keyboard. That means you're gonna get some pretty decent key travel. Glass trackpad, uh, actual physically clicks, very nice. Now there's another version of this Surface keyboard, Surface Pro X keyboard that has a little silo for a pen. That's like a flat pen that you can put in here. They didn't ship us a pen on this review unit and just this basic keyboard. I'm not gonna complain. So there you go, that's the back, that's the front. Let's uh, show you how, how it works. You plop it down on it and you incline things and then you're ready to go. And you can do this to it where this little top part folds in like that. And so if we look carefully, I believe that there's actually some pins in one of these connectors. Yep, right there. So you can see how these pins mate with the pins. So this is actually not a Bluetooth keyboard or anything like that. And I think that's it for this. I don't think there's anything else in this box. So let's uh, set this up as a kind of a laptop-y thing, right? Here we go. Here's the surface. Uh, let's open the kickstand a little and go clunk. There you go, magic. It just automatically plopped itself in place. I'm gonna move this as far down as I can. And as you can see, here's a kickstand. I'm gonna retract it and fold it together. Now you can have an idea of how much thicker it is with the keyboard basically mounted on it. So a total, I think it's about a centimeter with the keyboard cover, which I think is a very reasonable number. And so here we are. This is the Surface Pro X from Microsoft. This actually feels pretty heavy with the keyboard case. Now without the keyboard cover, it's uh, probably a little less Heavy, let me try that out. Yeah, the keyboard cover actually adds quite a bit of weight to this. I'm really surprised. And like, it's really amazing how it just self-locates magnetically. There you go. So that's it, folks. The Microsoft Super Pro X. Uh, again, I'm not a huge fan of these tablets that have a keyboard that 
attaches to them. I'd much rather have the, the 360 degree hinge like the Yoga laptops from, uh, from Lenovo. And that's more my jam, like something that looks and feels like a laptop, but can be turned into a tablet, not a tablet that you add a keyboard to, but hey, you know, this is the slimmest and sexiest device that Microsoft has ever made. So I think that's worth something. You can't complain about that, right? So anyway, that's it folks, an unboxing of the Surface X Pro. So uh, if you liked it, please subscribe, tell your friends, click the notification bell below, comment in the comments below, and like this video, of course, right? And then finally, there is a podcast that goes along with this YouTube channel. And if you want to hear my thoughts on this device, you're going to have to listen to the podcast. MobileTechPodcast.com is URL. It's also on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Pocket Casts, Overcast, Spotify. Pretty much everywhere you can subscribe to it. And, and so please join the podcast, subscribe, tell your friends and all that good stuff. And until next time, stay tuned. I'll have more videos, of course. And so cheers, everybody.